All right, so today we're going to cover how to download, install, and use Steam Achievement Manager. So we can start by going to your browser, Steam Achievement Manager, just Google that. You see the first link here. I'll also have a link inside the video description. Um, but anyways, you'll get to this GitHub page. You can go straight down to where you see download latest release. You click on that and you'll see a few options. You can start by just clicking on the base zip file. And you'll see it's downloading in the bottom. Once it's downloaded, you can just click here, or show in folder, or go over to wherever it downloaded the file. In this case, I have it in downloads file. We can use any program to unzip it. In this case, I'm just going to use 7-zip. I'm going to extract it to this path. So now that we have it unzipped, you can simply see that it has uh, six or so files. You can click on the sam.game.exe and you'll see that as long as you're logged in on Steam, it'll populate based on your Steam login. So just to make sure of it, I'll go to Steam. You can see my entire library here, you know, my little categories here. You see all these games that I have. And sure enough, inside Steam Achievement Manager, it shows the same. Let's see where it is. It'll show the exact library. So after this point, you can just click on any of the games. Uh, we'll take, for example, let's take CSGO. I already have 100% here, but either way, you see a couple options here. You see lock all achievements, invert all achievements, unlock all achievements. So in this case, you can uh, hit commit changes to unlock it. So in that you'll see that it's grayed out, meaning that I have to, I can unlock it again. However, in terms of the Steam server, once it's unlocked, it's considered unlocked for good, but you can still toggle this on and off for whatever reason. So now that we see that and you see sure enough, it pops up at the bottom. Um, now let's do a game in which I need the achievement. So we'll go to, let's see here. Bioshock Infinite, and we'll see inside Steam. You can see that once you have it open inside Steam Achievement Manager, it'll actually show that it's running in game as well. So we'll go under Achievements here, and we see, let's see here, Snowball Effect. It's not locked. I mean, it's not uh, unlocked, right? So we'll go over here, Snowball Effect. We'll click on this, we'll hit commit change. It says it's unlocked. Snowball effect is indeed unlocked. And if we refresh over here, we'll see that snowball effect is gone and that we just unlocked it over here. So as far as I know, uh, Steam Achievement Manager is not considered cheating, but this is as of September, I'm sorry, October, 2020. It might actually change down the road. So use with caution if you're watching from the future. Otherwise, hopefully this will help you, you know, unlock some of those uh, unattainable achievements. All right, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and good luck. Just an FYI, if this is your first time to the channel, normally I do coding or tech related videos and I wouldn't exactly consider Steam Achievement Manager and how to do this as a real tech video, quote unquote, but um, you know what? It does generate some views, so I had to do it. Uh, anyways, thanks for supporting and watching. And if you're interested in other tech videos as well as coding videos, uh, feel free to browse the rest of my library and like and subscribe. Thanks.